Back here, time now for another edition of the UNCW Court Report alongside Amy Bambanek. I'm Mike Vicarroll here on the Seahawk Digital Network and coach a very busy weekend for your ladies here all at home. And it started on a really high note Thursday, a big win against Northeastern. You gave them their first conference loss of the year. Yeah, I mean, what an exciting way to kick off um, the weekend. And uh, we already had had it in our minds that we just wanted to play a little differently with um, a little bit more spark uh, in the second half of conference play. And I think that the team did just that against Northeastern. And it was great to uh, be in front of our home fans for that win and just to play a super crisp and clean uh, match against a very strong Northeastern team. Um, it's really, you know, I couldn't have asked for anything more from our players. As you said, on the road against Northeastern, you were right there, a couple of points here and there, but being home, was that a big difference for you guys, you think? Yeah, I mean, we had been working on a lot of things um, throughout uh, the week prior, and we had a nice little heart-to-heart -heart talk with the team in the locker room just about how we really wanted to go into the second half of uh, CAA play. And um, we definitely feel as a team that we have the talent, we have the skills, we just got to be able to piece it together more consistently. And there's no real formula uh, for that. We just got to keep plugging away um, at, at our practices and continuing to improve. And offensively, I felt all weekend long, our, our offense was um, truly the most consistent I had seen it for an entire weekend of play this weekend. Yeah, good start to the weekend. Unfortunately, you couldn't keep that going. Tough losses to James Madison, a mm -hmm. five setter to Hofstra as well. What's your takeaways from Saturday and Sunday's setbacks? I still feel that we played a lot better the second time around against JMU and against Hofstra than we did the first time that we played them. Um, you know, we're, we've got some players that have uh, stepped up into a few different roles for us, and it was nice to see them kind of um, have a breakout weekend for themselves. Um, one of them being Kendall Bender, who was just outstanding all weekend long. And she's someone we, we have seen in practice just progressively get better. She's really strong at a slide attack. Um, and we were able to put her in a position to be successful um, on the court against those teams. So uh, with with her, you know, really taking on a bigger role this weekend, um, there was still, you know, a lot of improvement from a lot of people uh, against, against uh, JMU and Hofstra. Bryn Montgomery, Sydney Brock, also some good numbers. What did you see from them this weekend? Um, so Bryn, I think, is just getting more and more comfortable with every single game that she plays. I think she's getting more comfortable with our offense, more comfortable with uh, what myself and Coach Megan Sherman are asking her to do on the court and some decision making. Um, so we're trying to really push a little faster tempo of offense to our outside and right side hitters. And I think at the beginning of the season that that wasn't her that wasn't necessarily her comfort zone, especially in pressure situations. But now she's realizing that um, the team needs that consistency from her, and she's again, um, really getting in the practice reps and quality practice reps that she needs to make it a little bit more comfortable in games. Um, and Sydney Brock, I mean, she's always our, our fiery leader. Um, every time she gets her three rotations on the court, it's just a nice little uh, um, shot of excitement. And obviously, you know, you know, being that it's her senior year, she's she's going to make sure that there's no stones left unturned, that she's going to give it her all in every single match and every single practice. So really happy just with the overall production out of our middles um, this entire weekend. And I think that um, uh, I think that it kind of um, shows our team just how and, and our opponents how well rounded we are um, with the amount of firepower we have in different positions. Well, again, a very busy weekend that it was, but this week now, just a one lone match, so you have a chance to catch your breath a little bit, do some other things, and you said you have something special planned midweek for uh, your squad, some uh, some volunteer work. Yeah, after three games this weekend, they definitely deserve a day off today. Um, they'll do a little bit of recovery, um, but uh, we'll, we'll practice on Tuesday, and then Wednesday we're going to be um, joining the Halloween Carnival that's going to be hosted in Trask Coliseum. We'll be handing out candy and um, doing some arts and crafts with some of the local kids in the area that are coming out to the Halloween Carnival. So something fun to do outside of volleyball to give back to the community and just kind of um, enjoy you know, the opportunities that UNCW offers here to our athletes. Yeah, great to see that. So many of the uh, programs doing stuff like that, community service in this great community. And let's now talk about the week ahead here. Uh, again, it's just a one match. You're on the road, arrival in Charleston, uh, set back to them here at home three to one. But going there, mm -hmm. what do you think could change? How could this one uh, be different against the Cougars? 
So um, I always hope that the second time around we're going to be a little bit more cleaner and crisper against our opponents. You know, early in the week we'll probably focus on some things that we need to do on our side of the court, and later on as we get closer to our match against Charleston, we'll try to figure out some strategies to try to implement, you know, offensively and defensively against them. So, um, you know, to us it's always a big rival. No matter what the seedings are in conference right now, Charleston is our favorite rival to play. Um, and uh, I think my motivating um, speech to our players is we've, we've taken down one CAA number one team, like let's try to take down another one. And I think that we can do that with the right mindset. So it's the start of uh, three straight on the road this week, Charleston, next week, then Delaware and Towson. Again, a tough stretch coming up. We'll talk about those matches next week. But coach, uh, best luck against the rival. Uh, Charleston coming up on Saturday on the road. Thank you. For Amy Bamanek, I'm Mike McCarroll. Thanks for joining us. It's another edition of the UNCW Court Report right here on the Seahawk Digital Network.